All right, guys, here she is, the RV6A, for those that guessed it. It's been a while. I'm supposed to update you guys. Um, ooh, the wheel pants are off. I just put new tires and stuff on it, and I didn't put the wheel pants back on yet. Sorry. And the canopy's up, so it doesn't look as cool. But it's cool. It's real cool. Um, this is the RV6A. Had it for a couple weeks. This is the next airplane, and not to confuse matters, but there's already a next, next airplane. <laughs> We're, I'm flying to Denver next week to pick up our new, new airplane, but this one's staying. This airplane is awesome. So, uh, mission today, it's a beautiful fall day. The colors are changing. I'm grabbing my sister. I flew into Galt Airport. See if you can see it over there, Galt Airport. And we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly up to Tomahawk, Wisconsin, just to have lunch, just for the day. It's an hour and 20 minutes up, hour and 20 minutes back, probably five hours to drive it each way. So it's kind of like a time machine. We'll go 150 to 160 knots. I just have my cell phone today. I didn't grab all my cameras. Didn't know if I wanted to do a full on video. So it's going to be a cell phone thing and I'll have to dub in my voice. You know, you get what you get at this point. I'm busy. <laughs> I do have new GoPros. I got to start up in the content. So those of you sticking around, staying with me, thank you. Um, thanks for being patient. And uh, I'll show you a little RV footage here as we go. It's much cooler with the canopy down, but I'll, I'll show you some of those pictures too. Show you around the cockpit here. Um, he actually did a really nice job. We have a little engine monitor here that works for EHT and CHT. Oil temperature that starts at 140 and goes to 320. That's got to change. I mean, I want to know when the oil comes alive. Outside air temperature, volts and amps, fuel gauges, oil pressure and temperature. Got one of these King VFR GPS that works great. And over there, right there, we have a fuel computer, which is awesome. Tracks every gallon out of the thing. We have 38 gallons usable. And I know exactly how much I have. Little wing level or autopilot that's going to be replaced with a Aero Cruise 100. Um, right now it's September of 2022. They say those might be available in March of 2023. Being experimental, I could do a full on autopilot for like 2,400 bucks plus installation. A much better deal. So this is the plane though. Let me show you the interior more. The guy did a really nice job. A lot of time guys build RVs and they get so excited to fly them they never finish them. This guy finished it. Nice interior, nice seats. Even the back, see the sides, the back, everything's done very, very clean. And that, this is experimental. That's supposed to say experiential. That's a typo. Nothing to worry about here. This is an experiential because you have great experiences in this airplane. All right, we'll let you come along for the ride today. Okay, this is my sister I picked up at Galt. What do you have? My bug out bag, my designer bug out bag. Oh, we need that. My Red Bull. Okay. My light fluffy jacket in case we want to all right Nicole, um and i'm an adrenaline junkie yeah. so we're gonna do fun stuff and i'm gonna make you lots of money on youtube okay okay awesome. water and good to go wait let me get these boots on step into the sunshine a little bit what <laughs> this is my sister pam and these are her boots and if you knew pam this makes perfect sense oh god yeah oh yeah okay so we're gonna fly up tomahawk have a little lunch ride around the side by side and we're gonna come home all in a day the miracle of aviation right now We are in flight. Again, I don't have my audio equipment with me. So 6,500 feet, indicating about 135 knots. Showing 147 knots uh, ground speed. There's a little bit of a headwind. This airplane's about 150 knots when I set it. You know, not at full power, but 75% power. So yeah, 150 knot airplane easily. I could do 160 knots if I want to push it up a little bit. These tiny little wings. We had just a beautiful day. It was 70 degrees outside. Not a bump in the sky. Really, really nice day to go flying. So come back inside here, give you the view. There's a little view on the map of the mission here from just north of Chicago up to northern Wisconsin. And there's a little plane, that green circle is a circle of life. That's how far we could glide. As long as there's an airport inside that circle, we're gonna make it. So back up top here. 
a little wing dip to show you what it looks like off the right hand side. Kind of a cool day. Like I said, it would have taken us 10 hours to um, go up there and back in a car. Much, much less. There's me and Pam. Enjoying the view, the bubble canopy. Boy, you fly these RVs, it's just amazing. The visibility is just unlimited. Okay, now I'm going to try and show you some of the fall colors. It just doesn't do it justice. But as you go further and further north, early October this time of year, oh, there's an airport too, you could really start seeing the fall colors pop. So that, I believe, is central Wisconsin. Yep, CWA, central Wisconsin. Actually, airline service out of there. We're making our way up there. There's some traffic on the iPad just in front of us. Looking for the traffic. All right, again, trying to show you some fall colors. You see, as the further north we go, the brighter the colors become. Really, really beautiful up there. This just isn't gonna do it justice, but uh, trying to give you an idea. Another shot, as we get lower, it starts to pop a little bit more. We start to see some greater detail what we're looking at. It's part of the reason we did the flight today. Okay, here we are coming in on final. Runway 9 in Tomahawk. All right, here we got an old Navy pilot. Hadn't had some sick time in a while, so we got him flying the RV right back at home in the cockpit. Navy pilot, retired Delta Airlines captain, back up in the air checking out the fall colors. All right, we got it all secured. Got the cover on it. Tomahawk. Nice little airport, northern Wisconsin. Here we are at the cabin in the woods. Nice little lake view again. Fall is coming. One lone kayaker out there. Just a beautiful day in the north woods of Wisconsin. All right, guys, this is what it's all about. Small airport flying. It is Tomahawk Regional Airport. They're all pretty similar. Nice places. You fly in, have lunch, have an adventure. We're gonna go check out some more fall colors on the way home. We're trying to get back before the sun goes down. There's the mighty RV6A. on the way back here again just a beautiful night sunset starting to form just pretty clouds in the sky and just not a bump we just didn't hit a bump at all such a perfect day all right clearing the power lines back into galt airport to drop off pm there's a little hump right about where the displaced threshold stops you don't want to land before that for sure because it's kind of uphill we'll touch down just past that holding it off holding it off as long as we can Setting her down. I'm gonna drop off Pammy and then uh, back on our way home. Fine. 
All right, so now I dropped off Pam and back on the way towards the home airport. Sunset, time is just about perfectly. I don't like to fly single engine airplanes at night anymore if I don't absolutely have to. Just the point being, if you lose your engine, you can't really see where you're going. You know, it's harder to make a landing. Give you a little shot of the pilot. Empty seat behind me, or next to me now, I should say. Just enjoying the sun going down. Great day, made it up there, made it back. No issues, and uh, this plane is just great for efficiency. I mean, I'm burning nine, 10 gallons an hour, going 150 knots. I go a little faster if I want. You just can't hardly beat it. You certainly can't beat the view, the maneuverability, everything about it, just a gorgeous day. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and uh, see you next time.